American Revolution All-Stars, hosted by Narrator. Today's guest star is Marquis de Lafayette. Hello, viewers. I'm Lafayette, or you may know me by my full name. Marie Josephe Paul Uvis Ranch Gilbert de Monti Marquis de Lafayette. <laughs> What am I saying? Of course you know me. I'm a very important person and have and had an even bigger role in the American Revolution. Let me prove to you how important I really am. I was born. No, let's not start there. Let's not start there. I was only 19 years old when I left France against the orders of King Louis when I crossed the Atlantic Ocean to assist the colonists in the Americas in 1777. I arrived in America on June 13th. My ship landed near Georgetown, South Carolina, and I made my way to the colony's capital at the time, Philadelphia. Although I was still a teenager who spoke little English and lacked combat experience, I convinced the Continental Congress to commission me as a major general in the Continental Army on July 31st, 1777. Quickly, George Washington and I became good friends and better allies. On September 11, 1777, I was called to my first, first action at, of the American Revolutionary War at the Battle of Brandywine. After the attack, we soon learned the full story. Gen General William Howe and General Charles Cornwallis launched a full-scale British attack on General George Washington's troop at Brandywine Creek. The British troops were split. Our, our team was caught off guard by the oncoming British attack and we were surrounded. Washington ordered the men to retreat battle. Now you know what happened. Let's rewind. While I was fighting, I got shot in the calf or in the leg during the battle but the military managed to organize a successful retreat. After the two month recuperation, I was given the command over my own division for the first time ever. Oh my gosh. Sorry. Fast forward to here. It was a brutal winter of 1777 to 1778. I camped at Valley Forge with Washington's troops. Thousands of soldiers died, mostly from illness. Throughout the Revolutionary War, I participated in many battles that I won't go into detail with including the Battle of Gloucester, the Battle of Barren Hill, the Battle of Rhode Island, and the Battle of Green Spring. Not to brag or anything, but I played a critical role in providing tactical leadership and securing vital resources from France. This helped me turn the title of the Revolutionary War. Now, this is my favorite event to explain to you. It was when the world turned upside down. By orders of Washington, I was to go to Virginia and take over the military command of that colony. From the pressure of the American forces in the South, the British Army, led by General Cornwallis, moved to the city of Yorktown in August of 1781. They thought they were to receive reinforcements and supplies from the British Navy. 
But what they didn't know was that I was setting up positions around your town. With the arrival of additional Americans and French forces to assist me, Cornel Wallace was forced to surrender Yorktown. The surrender, the surrender took place on October 19th, 1781. Although this was the end of the American Revolutionary War, it wasn't the end for me. I returned to France in December 1781 and was welcomed as a hero. I lived out my last years there and after 73 years of life, it is time for me to rest. He was laying next to his wife at the city's cemetery to carry out his request. He was to be buried in both American and French soil. And so his son covered his coffin with dirt they had taken from Bunker Hill in 1825. He's known as the hero of two worlds. Thank you, narrator. Now, enough about the savvy stuff. I have some ooh facts and one tea fact for our viewers. Let's go! Here is a tea fact. Did you know that King George's III's brother was the one who convinced me to fight against Britain? Well, now you know. Here is an ooh fact. Number one, did you know that I was the co-author of the Declaration of Rights of Man and Citizens? Interesting, right? Who knew I could be such a writer? Next is another ooh fact. I am an honorary American citizen that was declared by Maryland and Virginia in 1784. More drama goes with that, but let's move on. Let's do one more ooh fact. Let's do one more ooh fact since it's getting late. Did you know that, the, that at the age of 72, I was still a revolutionary leader? Well, I was. I took charge of the Na National Guard of France. Well, that's all I have. That's all the time I have for today. Thank you, narrator, for having me on. This has been American Revolution All Stars, hosted by narrator. Today's guest star was Marquise de Lafayette. And thank you for being such a great audience. Thank you, and have a great night. viewers thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit about marquise lafayette um don't forget you could always comment down below and you can like this video and subscribe to my channel so yeah 
Anyways, have a great day and a very Merry Christmas. From Rebecca, signing off.